Folks, so uh, I'm just about to take a first spin on the bike. Haven't even been, haven't even put a paddle stroke until yet, but uh, I've actually just changed the paddles over to um, Sam Hill ones. And I'm not too sure about this derailleur. I haven't ridden the bike, but to me, this derailleur looks like it's maybe a wee bit bent. I just want to document this before I take off on it. And it seems to be, seems to be a bit of a rattle coming from that bad end. Don't know if you can hear it. So, uh, hopefully that doesn't become a, an issue, and if it does, then I'll probably just have to take this back to CRC. So, plan is, I think I'm going to head up the mast, and we're going to head across this way here, and up a wee Glen River Trail. It's called the uh, Tipperary River, actually. And that's a wee, I usually do it coming down the way, but I'm going to try it. It's a wee technical claim, and I'm going to try it. Head up the mast, and then head across the boundary over onto the drains up there, and then do a couple of trails from there. So I'll see at the top now. I'm just going to see what time it is here and see how long it takes me to get that mast. So, folks, here we go. Right, we'll turn it on. It turns it on. I might have to move this up a wee tad. So it's just on off there so eagle i'll keep her in trail mode for now so uh here we go folks first paddle strokes oh here we go put the seat up so we're up the left here and up out the gate at the top all righty just well down the gears at the back so we'll click up one That wee buzz off the motor. Feels good. This is a breeze. This is a breeze up this hill. So 15.5k an hour up this hill, and this isn't a it's not the steepest but steep enough. That was a gift. <laughs> so out through the gate. Have to lock this behind me. So here we go, I'll just show you the RV feature here, where we're going to walk through. So, eco, off, hold down, walk, and then I'll hold down the button on the left hand, and she'll walk forward, she'll creep. That's on under her own steamer, so, park her up. Get this wee gate closed. Right, back up the modes. Back in the trail. See it up now, here we go. So, turn left here. Folks, I'm just going to keep her in trail because I sort of want to keep my fitness up as well. Don't want to uh, get too, what do you call it, lazy? Don't want to get too, using the motor too much. If it comes to a steep enough hill and I need to use the boost, I'll be putting it in boost, but as for now, I'll just keep her in trail, folks. Trail mode. So, folks, I haven't been on a bike in three weeks. I've been away out of Scotland and that, and anybody follows me on Instagram and on Facebook and stuff will know. I was around the road bikes, sort of GSs, 1200s, the BMW, so. Aye, uh, three weeks I haven't been on a bike, and I can honestly say that was the first paddle strokes that I put in to this bike. So I think that's her tapping out there. Must be, yeah. Tapping out at 15k or whatever that is. So folks, just up here is this this wee trail. We usually do it on the downhill. And uh it's a crack of me trail coming down, that's probably a bit overgrown and stuff here, so I mean might end up off the bikes, but that's a good good excuse to use that wee walk mode too. So I uh, feels good. I've got the back end locked out. I haven't even set the suspension. I've just jumped on it, put the new paddles on, tried to put my raffle grips on, but I was nothing screw. So I'll just leave it the way it is. So 
this is the start of this week's climb. So, uh, a couple of tears. Just the way them bushes are in front there is a Tipperary River. So, this is going to be quite technical here, folks. So, we'll see how we get on. Yep. <laughs> ah! Stuck a front in the rack. Right, so, that's the first feel. So here we go. Just trying to get her going again. Nope. Cut. That's somewhere right. See that. Be that too hard there. Try that. It's just uh, spinning up a back wheeler. Right. So, those cap. We'll get back on, give it an hour world. Don't know if this is a good idea to come in come in and try this straight off a reel, I beg I don't even know, but oh yeah. Where we go? Yep, that Yep. <laughs> Won't be surprised I can back full of ticks. Been in them bushes twice. You wouldn't never do this on an ordinary bike. Right, so don't think I was here. There's a quarter lamb when I sat out. So, see how long it takes me getting that last. Right, so that's just that bit. Back and then we're in this wader bit here, gravelly and loose. So it goes up around here, up around the left, and then up right, and then brings us across up the other masters. So uh probably not gonna up at the quick and the quickest time that you'll do on this big. I'll have to stop out with GoPro and sort it out. But yeah, still on trail mode folks, I need to bring this around so we can see it better. So that's something to sort out. Still on trail mode. Yeah, I can still feel like I'm doing a bit of a workout. So, stick it up on the boost and see how it feels here. So that's our boost. So easy. <laughs> uh, that puts a smell in your face. So folks, as you know, uh, it took me, just took me, I wasn't going to buy an e-bike and then I toiled with the idea and then I just want you to know what, there's days where I'm sitting in the house and I would love to pull the bike out and then I just go to myself after a couple of hours with the claims. So now I have no excuse. I can just make sure this is charged up, jump on it at the house and probably by the time I, I sorted the other bike out and got in the van and, and move my way up to the high town, I can maybe think it maybe just as, maybe just as quick to leave the house and this bike and make my way up there and talking to the other lads from Dirty Balls and TV they're up there doing 10 runs and that's something else I think I most I've ever done was 6 on an ordinary analogue bike and uh, and trust me you'd feel it you'd feel 6 runs so not talk anymore I'll get up right to the steep bit here just before the mast I'll stick a camera on again because that's, that's the steepest part of it and bang I'm going to go back in the trail mode because I think that's enough plenty of assist on that so stick a camera back on the wee second okay here we are on the tarmac road up the mast so just this round, once you went around this corner this is where it starts to hurt on an ordinary bike so just around about these trees it just ramps up more so here we go I haven't changed gear yet and just along the way here motor slowing down so down the gear at the back still on trail mode folks 10k 10k an hour that is so yeah I'm trying definitely feel that working no way I'd be up this no way not like this and that's the worst of it over I was just picked up 15k up this hill unbelievable 
<laughs> this makes me laugh. So, heard a few wee rattles already at the bottom end on this. I'm not too sure if there's something to do with the motor. That's an EP8 motor. I'm not too sure if it's something to do with that or whatever, but I must get it uh, I must get it back and get it looked, looked at. So, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to start from up here. Up on the top of the rat. So folks, as mullets go, can't really tell the difference on the uphill. So it's a mullet bag, 29 in the front, 27.5 in the back. So uh, let's get the phone out and see what time we've got. So it was roughly a quarter to two on my left. And it's 10 past 11 and I stopped to sort the GoPro out plus ladder out of the tires and stuff. Plus there was a wee bit of hiccup up that we up at first feet hill so what's that yeah 25 minutes i'd take 10 minutes off that for messing about 15 minutes i'd say great probably probably hip tackle oh, i'm gonna get one you ready right i have a thing for this i go ahead hey right, folks i'm just waiting here and this fella my half i know from a few years ago has joined me It's good. Jesus. This road's been in. On the wee camera day, we're out. On the wee camera day, we're out the wind sack on, so we're picking up all the noises and made feel the hear that motor. So my suspension's far too soft for starters, because I've near bottomed out the floor already and I haven't hit none yet. But it feels nice. Harley gets a roll on, with a tiny inner front, too. Whoa! Shit! Way! <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Watch this bit! You can roll that door, but it's a bit, it's a bit tight. What's that? Watch that bit door. I near launched into it. So, you really feel that motor helping out. A couple of wee turns and bang. It's just gone. It's nice to be sacking here. It rattles that motor, is ridiculous. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, join that front end. Oh, that's, that's heating that up. Ridiculous. So, back at my own again. Look at that for a view. Right out of our Murloc Bay. There's the wee pump house. So, I'm going to hook a left here and make our way across the boundary field. Um, I think I'll go straight on. So folks, haven't much battery left on the GoPro. So I'm going to make my way across this field. Maybe do flatliner. Or maybe just come back across. And go down. 
by going the wrong way here. So folks, well chuffed by this bike. That's all I can say for now. But uh, chuffed for the bike. We're not too happy about the, ain't too happy about the, the rattling of the, the motor. We've got a motocross here. Burp, burp. Tack me up. Yep. Motor pulled me out. This is what this e bike's going to be about, folks. We bit of a fancy rain. This stuff here would never attempt. Oh, never attempt this in an ordinary bike. Oh. Maybe try and boost here. Yep. That boost just puts a smile in her face. Yep, you still hear me breathing folks, so I'm still working. So his paddle assist, there's 12k an hour. Hear that wee rattle? Not sure what that's all about. So the fans are continues. Uh, so I come out through that gate. Didn't turn the camera on and flew down the hill, so <laughs> I'm making my way back up it. I never thought about ever a joy claiming hills on a bike, but when you've got this thing on me, it just makes it fun. So here we are, back at the wee gate that I just came through. Let's get her turned around, get down this hill. There we go. Just cracked off a frame. All right, folks. So I think that's going to be it for the day. Only three percent battery left. So uh, I'm going to continue on. Maybe go up around and do do an RB loop here. But the battery's going to die. So uh, just got to be out through. So where's the bike just sitting there? We've got a mud on our daddy and uh, no motorcycles quads. Don't think. They're included. So, all right, so back out tomorrow. This is Saturday, back out on Sunday, round in Tallymore, meeting up with uh, George Graham and some stuff. I think Jordan's coming as well, I'm not too sure who else be going, George, on, a, on an e bike as well. So, we bit of fattening to do about suspension and stuff later on and sort, sort things out because I think she's just uh, too soft. So, uh, hopefully, it's a start of something new and get a, lo a load more subscribers from, from e bike. Uh, E bike followers and stuff like that are so uh we'll keep you posted on on updates on the bike and stuff and let you know how we're getting on i have to go tubeless and stuff yet too on it so uh uh good times to come folks so uh thanks for joining me i'll see you again give us a wee give us a wee thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe see you later